Hey guys, welcome back to, well, slightly outside of my filthy garage. I know it's been a really long time since I posted a video. Uh, there's been a lot of reasons, a job change um, and a car change. Uh, those of you who have been paying attention will notice that I changed from a, a Bark motif on my channel to an Alfa Romeo motif. Uh, this was a while back. Uh, actually got this in February. Um, unfortunately, I just had one too many winter cars break down on me. Um, they were very old, very, very cheap cars. <laughs> and uh, yeah. losing two in one winter was enough. I missed the Spider terribly. It was a great car. I still have a couple more videos that I will eventually get edited and put out to you guys. I uh, uh, believe one was the exhaust and one was the uh, wheels and tires and ceramic coating. Um, obviously, I did not plan on getting rid of the Spider. I really love that car. Uh, if I could have both, I would. But alas, I live in Colorado. I'm a full-time single dad and full-time obviously full-time job holder plus a uh, part-time public servant so money isn't exactly plentiful uh, <clears throat> at any rate uh, it just so happened that uh, when I lost my winter beater again uh, for the second time that year uh, this came up for sale and I have always wanted an Alpha. And uh, this one was exactly the way I wanted it. It was uh, Alpha Red, uh, or Alpha Rosso, as I believe they call it. And uh, it just had everything I wanted. I have made some uh, modifications to the car uh, already. Unfortunately, guys, just time constraints with the new job. I just really don't have time to film a lot of videos um, but uh, I have done some paint correction it's gonna need more to make it perfect uh, which you won't be able to probably see on camera but really to make it the way I want it it's gonna need more um, but I've done some modifications to the car already uh, since I got it in February um, I have added uh, some carbon fiber, as you can see here. Uh, this piece was really nice. This piece, eh, not so much. Uh, if you want to come around the car, I have also added the five hole wheels, which uh, I really like. Uh, also, some of you who own these cars may notice that uh, um, your brake calipers start to look pretty nasty, uh, really flat red. I have found a trick for this uh, that I got off of the uh, Alpha Julia uh, message boards or whatever you want to call it, forums. And um, it really worked well. Uh, I added a couple steps, but really it worked well and brought these back to life. They look beautiful now. Uh, they did look like they were shot. Apparently, some guys have got theirs replaced under warranty uh, for the fading but you can fix it um, <clears throat> I also added the alpha five hole wheels which I really loved I wanted those from the beginning uh, this is a 2017 Julia Q4 Sport and uh, I do like the wheels that it came with uh, I've got some winter tires on there for the winter time and uh, they have done fantastic that was one of the main motivations in getting this car besides that it's an Alpha and it's beautiful uh, was that I needed something I could drive year round and with the all wheel drive which performed fantastic during the winter um, especially with the winter tires and the original stock 18 inch wheels uh, it did really well uh, but uh, now we're in spring and so I have put on the uh, 19 inch Five hole alpha wheels with uh, 255 3519 tires. And they are the uh, 
Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s, which are extremely sticky. They're great tires, but when they're cold, it's like riding on a buckboard over a gravel road. They're, they need to warm up. Uh, they're pretty harsh uh, early on cold or colder mornings. Uh, some other things that I've already done, and I wish I could have done videos for you guys on all this stuff, but unfortunately it just is the way it is. Um, new job and I'm a very busy guy. I don't make any money off this, so uh, I make these videos for you guys uh, when I can. Uh, I've also added uh, carbon fiber mirror covers. Uh, these were these were actually decent quality. The weave is pretty consistent. It looks decent. Um, the edges were a little nasty, so I went in and added actually some uh, uh, black pinstriping is is what it was, but to kind of cover up the nasty edge of this and uh, make it look a little more cohesive with the car. Uh, again, most of the things I do are on a budget, guys. Um, so if you come around, see the wheels and tires. I also did do spacers. Um, these wheels, which are not OEM, uh, the seller sold them on eBay as OEM, but or as OEM quality. They're really not. Uh, they're they look good from afar, but they're you know, when you get really up close, there's some issues. But overall. They weren't terrible, um, but uh, I did have to space the wheel out a little bit. Uh, I'm sure you guys who have these cars know that that uh, wheel to caliper space is very thin. I mean, like you can barely get a piece of paper down there, and these were a little too close for comfort. So I did buy some spacers. I went with the uh, five millimeter in the front and the 17 millimeter in the back. Uh, honestly. If they made the combo, I'd like 15 mil on the front and 10 mil on the back. Uh, but it, overall, it looks great. Uh, come around to the back. Uh, obviously, I've added the uh, carbon fiber spoiler, the quadrifolio style uh, carbon fiber spoiler here. Um, Quality is decent, not great, uh, but again, for what I paid comparative to the OEM, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's not bad, and it looks great on the car. Uh, these, the uh, Q4 and the Julia badging, actually just came out with the 2019 models, uh, from what I'm told, and when I saw them, I had to have them. I went to my dealer and I ordered these uh, immediately. Uh, they actually had some cars they had just loaded off the truck. And uh, I saw the, they're really not black. Uh, they're from the Nero edition, which is just Italian for black. Uh, but uh, they're actually not. They're actually kind of a, a more of a dark gray, a uh, glossy dark gray. But they look really good with the car, and I'm really happy with them. And they're actually not terribly expensive at about $40 each. Um, and uh, let's see here. What else? There's not a whole lot else I've added to it. Uh, I don't know if we covered the front. But uh, I did add... The uh, carbon fiber grill cover in the front, the uh, V or Scudetto, uh, if I'm getting that wrong, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Uh, and this cover for the emblem here, this, this was not great quality. Uh, it was relatively cheap, but uh, it does overall look great on the car. Um, so... This is the new car. Uh, hopefully, uh, even my spider guys will stick around. Uh, I do. I will post uh, another video of 
the spider the last few things I did to it before I had to I had to let it go uh, which it, it sucked guys I really liked that car I did not want to let that go unfortunately uh, where I live and my financial uh, condition I just couldn't hold on to it anymore uh, but it's a great car and whoever got it they got a smoking deal on it uh, the amount of work that was put into that car especially just the exhaust alone they got a great deal but uh, I will tell you I'm really impressed with this this is definitely the most fun you can have with four doors uh, it's not the quadrifolio I don't have that kind of money uh, but its performance is extremely impressive. Its handling is extremely impressive. And it is a beautiful car. Uh, so anyway, this is the introduction to the new car that I just filmed off the cuff. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, and hopefully some of you spider guys will stick around and maybe I'll pick up a few alpha guys. Either way, I don't get paid. So at the end of the day, what does it matter? Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks and I'll see you next time.